good morning and welcome to Freddy Runs. I am Freddy. I am a running a little late actually. It's just gone 8.30 and I'm on my way to the park run this morning. It's Saturday morning. It's rainy, it's miserable, it's chilly. It's, it's what, five degrees at the moment. I'm running later than I hoped. I, I really wanted to get to the park run before now to get a really good warm up in. Saying I'm gonna get there at about quarter two. So that's going to give me 15 minutes to, to warm up. I wanted a little bit longer than that if I'm honest. I wanted to get a good 20, 30 minutes even. But I've just arrived at the park run. And I'm contemplating what I should be wearing because it is rainy, but it's not too heavy. So I might just keep my jacket, my lightweight jacket that I've got, my Ron Hill jacket that keeps me warm. I have brought my waterproof, um, but I don't know if I want to wear it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get outside and decide. I've got 15 minutes. 15 minutes until we start. I've got to hurry up and get warmed up. I can't decide how I'm going to approach this. Because a bit of me is saying, let's go all out and see where we're at. But there's also a bit of me obviously saying, oh, but you don't want to get injured. But do I continue to let the injury weigh me down? Or the, the old injury, I've got to stop calling it the injury. It's not the injury, I'm not injured. Do I continue to let the old injury weigh me down? And of course I don't want to do that. I can't get my finger in this glove. I want to move on and start running, so. But I haven't decided how I'm going to approach it yet. And, and if I'm honest, I'm probably not going to decide until after I've, probably after I've started. I'll see how good my warm up goes. Here we go. Now the other thing I'm just contemplating is whether or not to take my camera on the run. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. You'd think the answer would be, well, of course, but I also want to be able to concentrate on my form, on my breathing, on my pace. I don't know. Decide in a minute. Thirty minutes later. Oh, hold on. Just having a little cool down. Do you know what? I took my camera with me. And I had all intentions of, to video some of it. I got about halfway around and took my camera out and it was stuck in some sort of cycle. It was saying powering off, but it wouldn't do anything. So I just had to take the battery out when I finished, put the battery back in and it's working fine. So I never got to video anything, but all in all, really quite happy with that. Got under the 30 minutes, which is what I really wanted. So now we know where we are and now we know where we've got to build from. So I'm just going to have a little walk about, probably cool my legs down, calm my lungs down because I was blowing and we'll have a look at the, uh, we'll have a look at the stats in a minute and see where we're at. Right, back in the car. Whoa. I have to say, we were really lucky with the weather. So it was raining when I got here, it stopped as I got out of the car. Whoa. Slip not blasted in my ears. Yeah, it stopped raining as I got out of the car and I've just got back in the car and it started raining again. So we hit a bit of luck there. So a quick recap. Um, I've just looked at my Strava, I've just uploaded it. So my total time for the for the run itself, it's got me down as 29.37. So I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually quite pleased with that. I mean, I was pleased just to get under 30 minutes, if, if I'm really honest. Um, so yeah, so that, that's really cool. Average pace of 9.47. I did put a pace in my watch that I was trying to, um, trying to go to, which, which was 9.45. Um, I run with, I actually run with a couple of different watches. Um, I do use Garmin sometimes, but I also use Apple Watch. Um, and I have to say that I use this most of the time simply because, well, simply because it's my kind of my daily driver. I've always got it on. Uh, I use I use an app called Work Outdoors, which if you're a data geek, there's more data than you'll ever need on that app. You know, 
it, it shows you whatever you want to see really but I use that um, to show the pace to show like a, a pace calculation so I put in today 945 I know if I'm going um, at that pace or quicker it's going to put that number in a green box um, and if I'm going slower than that pace it puts a number into the red box and shows you your time shows you your pace um, and f I, I started off having um, a nice green box for the first probably um, lap and a half it's it's two and a half laps so probably first lap and a half I, I had a green box then I, I really slowed down I got to the end of the second lap with half a lap to go and I essentially hit a wall and, and I just I had nothing left but but I kept going um, and, and got under that 30 minutes so happy with that met a really nice guy at, at the finish line I didn't get his name it's such a shame He's never going to see this video. Um, older than I. I would guess his his age... I would guess his age started with a 7, to be honest. But it may have started with a 6. But but certainly old, older than me. Um, beat me. He, he, he beat me. I saw him come past me on probably at the end of the first lap. Something like that. But he weren't a million miles in front of me. But he's, you know, he's, he's obviously a decent runner. But he stopped me at the end. Um, and... and just randomly came up to me and said, did you get under the 30 minutes? And I was like, I did. I just, just scraped down. He was, you know, well done, blah, blah, blah. Um, and he was lovely and he was just giving me some advice on, on, you know, on how to approach it. Telling me, you know, if you can get out three or four times a week, run for 30 minutes, um, which was nice, you know, nice for him to take that time. And, he, and even as he was saying goodbye to me, he said, look, he said, don't go straight to your car, go and have a little jog. Um, why is that making me emotional? Why is that making me emotional? Wow. I don't know why that's made me emotional. Jolly is. It's It's been so hard. It's been so hard for the last month or two, the last sort of six weeks, whatever it's been, with this injury. I think I found that so mentally draining. So mentally draining, but, wow. I think I've just, I think it's just hitting home that, you know, I can do this. And even after six weeks off, putting a little bit of weight back on, not doing any any running, to so still have scraped under 30 minutes, I'm really happy about that. And I think it just shows that The kindness of a stranger. What's wrong with me? Jesus Christ. The kindness of a stranger. Something as simple as that, that man taking five minutes out of his day because he, he recognised that I don't look like a runner. You know, and, um, and he, he obviously saw me running and he obviously saw me trying hard and he took five minutes out of his day and he took five minutes out of his day to come and talk to me it might seem so trivial but people just don't do that these days they just don't and he did and he was lovely and I thank you whatever your name is I thank you for taking out that five minutes to come and talk to me. Because I think it's evident right now that I needed that more than I realised. Wow. Right. 
Yeah, I think I think my mental health took a hit the last six weeks. We're back in the game. There's no way around it. We're back in the game. <coughs> so it's New Year's Eve. It is uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. I've been finished for a little while now. I've done my cool down. My wife wants me to pop to the shop to go and buy a chicken um, for dinner tomorrow. We're at friends tonight, seeing in the new year. There's a few families getting together with our kids. Um, so we're all gonna get together tonight. We're gonna eat, we're gonna drink, we're gonna do everything we should on New Year's Eve. And then tomorrow we go again. So tomorrow we will not be going again. We will not be running tomorrow. But after tomorrow is when uh, we really, really start looking at, um, it's when we're really gonna put this into another gear because that's when we're on a, a countdown, a proper countdown, which is around six months until my big event. We've got to get the diet into check. Christmas and New Year will be gone. Put the diet back to normal. Get some of this weight off. Um, which which is going to really help with the running. I'm waffling now. I'm talking crap. I don't know why I'm talking. I just need to go to the shop to buy this damn chicken and go and enjoy my new year. So happy new year to you. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. There's only five of you subscribed to my channel, but you're a lovely five and five's all I need. Thank you and take care and goodbye. Have a nice day. Have a great new year. And you know what? Say hello to a stranger. You just might make their day.